Hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good, good morning, everyone. How are you today? Doing great. Doing great yourself? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Not bad. Thanks for asking. Good to hear. Of course. Morning, all. Hello. Hello, Jason. Um, we can't hear you, Jason. Your microphone is muted. Hello. Hi, now. Now, yes. Hello, Milanka. Good morning to you as well. Good morning, Lilita, Sonia, uh, Mikhail. We already greeted each other. So, um, how is everybody today? Hi, Maria. Good morning. All good. All good. All good. Okay. Um, so, um, Jason, if I'm not mistaken, you are you are new to you are new to Oxinity, right? Yes, I'm new. Yes, that's right. Okay, okay. Have you have you started uh, giving classes already? I've I've given one trial class, and that's it. And how did it go, if I may ask? Uh, it went very well. Um, just the platform when I clicked on to start the class, the platform was a little different to what uh, when I tried. Uh, there's a student and a teacher tab. Um, mm -hmm. When I tried on that, and I. The, the actual class was a little bit different. Um, I found it different with the the material and how it was set up, but it was good. Mm -hmm, Very good. Mm -hmm. You mean like you mean what you saw what you saw on the screen was different uh, compared to what you saw when you were preparing for the class? Slightly is. Yes. Slightly. Can, could, yeah. could you please a little be more specific, perhaps? Uh, yeah, if I when I was on the um, obscenity page, and I clicked onto the um, the class to see all the material, there was a student tab and a teacher tab, and then um, when I clicked onto the class, it was a little bit different. Um, the material was on the right hand side, and I wasn't quite sure. I never had enough time then to see how to get to the teacher tab, student tab, etc., and I wasn't sure what the students were going to see. Um, mm -hmm. When they see my my cursor, when they not see my cursor, things like that. So okay. I was just, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Important things. What you what you what you mentioned, uh, for several reasons. Uh, firstly, because you you're new, so ob obviously you're not you're not used to used to the uh, to the to the platform. And uh, there is some um, some information or some parts of uh, what you have just said will be discussed today uh, in this meeting. Um, we will get back to that in a moment, Jason. Okay, but now we are we are starting to grow in numbers, and um, and um, since you're new, if you could tell us a few words about yourself, teaching background wise and other and other things. Uh, so, how did you find Oxenity, and 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 uh, what did you do before? Okay, so I found Oxenity on Google search, and I applied on the uh, the website. And before before this, um, we had a business, a sales marketing business, where we we had a whole lot of non. English speaking uh, young adults and they would have to go out into the marketplace and teach, uh, well, not not teach, sorry, to sell, sell for us. Um, so we have supermarkets like Spa, ShopRite, Pick and Pay, Woolworths, things like that. So we had to get these young uh, gentlemen out there and they had to, the English had to be good. So we had to teach them because we have a, a language in South Africa called Afrikaans. Afrikaans is like a Dutch language. English and, mixture, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's very, very um, common here. So you, we've got to try and teach them English to go into the trade. So we did that. Um, I've homeschooled my two boys, and also, um, yeah, I just I've always tried to help people. We've had to always teach people English ah, in our okay. business. Oh, all right, all right. And so this this tells us that you you are from South Africa, and you. Oh yes, perhaps, South Africa. Yes, also yes. live live yeah. in South Africa. So I yeah. Yeah. Hello, uh, do, do you do you do you know each other, Mikhail? Jason? I do not, but I could pick up the accent as soon as I heard him talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mikhail, how's it? <laughs> I'm yeah. scared, yeah. my guy. How are you doing? Oh, lovely, man. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. It, it's it, it, there's quite quite a quite a, a lot of um, uh, teachers uh, from from South Africa at the moment. Uh, yeah. Working uh, and partnering up with Oxinity. Um, okay, uh, Jason. 
thank you very much and welcome to Oxinity. And um, and we are going to address some of those some of those things that you you had uh, difficulties with in your in your trial class. Okay, so we are going to get back to those things and we we will try to answer all the questions what you have. Um, there is, if I'm not mistaken, there is another other new teacher with us, uh, Milanka. Good morning, Milanka. Can you hear us? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Milanka. How are you today? I'm good, and you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad. Thanks for asking. Um, Milanka, similarly, would you like to give us a short uh, introduction to who you are and, and what have you been doing before? Yes, uh, definitely. So um, I'm also from South Africa. Um, How surprising. I have been teaching <laughs> musical theater. <laughs> I've been teaching musical theater and uh, street dance to young learners for cool. uh, two years now. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm very excited about my Oxinity journey. <laughs> so, OK, OK, so teaching is not new for you either right so you you've been you've uh, been in education on a different different uh, way or in a different uh, you were teaching different a different thing but but still education um yes now i sup i suppose that that mostly you were you were you were teaching face to face or in person right like, yes, like dance yes. and and uh -huh. and what do you expect from teaching online i mean like in front of the screen what do you what do you expect uh, from it being different? What what do you think about this part? Um, well, of course, I was a bit uh, scared about you know any technical difficulties. It's it's a lot more difficult to navigate. Um, you know you know if, if someone's mic isn't working or if they can't hear you properly. I think that was probably one of the scariest things or concerns that I had. Um, but after my trial lesson yesterday, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident about navigating the platform. Okay, I'm I it's it's I, I'm happy to I'm happy to hear that because I I um, of course of course uh, technical uh, technical issues uh, might occur or do occur and will occur, of course, but. Um, but I think that's that's the well, let's let's say the. Um, it's not the majority of the of the of the problems. I mean, like I mean, like these things. Um, and remember, perhaps perhaps it's it's useful for you and other new teachers that uh, there is an assistant button, assistance button, which you can use anytime when you have some some trouble, Definitely. and then and then they they uh, or the team uh, tries to help you out as quick as possible, and also the also the students. Uh, right, Milanka, thank you very much and, and welcome to thank Oxinity. You. <laughs> um, good, OK, so a few words uh, to, perhaps to, to both of you, Milanka and, and Jason. Why are we here on Fridays? So uh, this is a this is a platform, uh, a meeting, if you will, that uh, that uh, that brings the bring, brings the broader community together. So we don't we don't see each other every day at the office. Um, we don't unfortunately communicate with each other too often um maybe some of us and this this actually uh, helps us become a uh, uh, a group or a community and 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 share problems share new ideas uh, share new approaches and 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 um often remind ourselves about what what do we do at Oxy or um, how do we do things at Oxinity? why do we do these things at Oxinity, uh, the way we the way we do, the way we approach teaching, and um, the way we create and use our material. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Um, now let's let's go and start to uh, start with 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 talking about the the issues. What Jason? Um, well, not issues, but the doubts Jason had when uh, when doing the trial class. So um, he mentioned that <clears throat> that he wasn't sure what the students uh, what the students see, right? Who would like to which which teacher? Who would like to which partner would you, would would like to would like to to 
briefly lay it out what's what what the students tab the teachers tab what is the what is the meaning of these things and how do we use these things and how do they relate to the to the to the online or the virtual classroom Josie would you like to go I was hoping someone else would answer. I was leaving the opportunity, but yeah, <laughs> I will answer me, me, that. Me, me too, me, um, me too. But yeah, so the students tab is literally what the student sees, and also what we see in the classroom to help us. And then the teachers tab is something that we have open separately in a tab to help us with instructions and questions to um, encourage their listening practice as much as possible. Yeah, super. That was that was that was straight to the point, I think. So so uh, a little added information, Jason, in the in the virtual classroom, what you open and where you can see each other, uh, you, you can you can see the students and they can see you. Um, the teacher's tab is not accessible. So the teacher's tab is only accessible <clears throat> on the Oxinity platform. So that's that's for the preparation. Uh, preparation part. If you if you have if you have that open if you have that open in a separate tab or a separate window, you can always click on that during the class as well, right? Um, but but you can't access it uh, via the the virtual classroom. The students tab, uh, just as just as Josie mentioned, is is what is is what the students meant to see. Uh, truth to be told, that lately technical issues. There are some, there are some, some, uh, some, some bugs or some, some discrepancies in this uh, in this matter. So sometimes the the students do not see exactly what the teachers see. That might happen. This is this is this is under um, construction. Or better have said, um, we are <clears throat> trying to find the the origin, uh, the root of the of the of the problem because that's that 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 hasn't been solved yet in the html code we couldn't find anything anything um uh, strange yet it might happen for instance it might be that <clears throat> the students experience big gaps between pictures or between parts of the text whereas the teachers can see it in a in a more compact way so this might this might happen, unfortunately. I'm I need to add. Uh, good. Um, ooh, Marika, Mari, Mari Carmen, you wanted you want to add something, perhaps? Yeah, I just especially for new teachers. I just wanted to go a step before what you guys explained. So one thing is Obscenity platform where you have your timetable. And there, if you click on the books on the right, you will have a tab where you can see the material and prepare for it. In that tab is where you see what the student is going to see and then the teacher's instructions. That's one thing. Another thing is when you are on your same platform, you click play to start the class and that's the reality of what's happening at that moment. And there, the student only sees the middle part plus the video, the faces. They're not going to see how you are clicking on the activities and of course the chat as well. So what Gergo was saying that sometimes there is a small difference between what you are seeing, which is all straight. Some students can't. So we always suggest them to scroll down. When they scroll down, then it will appear a bit later, but it will appear. Say for whatever reason that it still doesn't show. Reload your class. Uh, the assistant team will be aware of it in case they also need to, to tell the students to reload, but you only have to worry about reloading your class and let it happen. So that's the, the distinguish uh, the, the distinction from scratch, say that that. Um, and of course, if there are any questions, we're very happy to answer because maybe the one first class might not be so clear, but this is, I think, from scratch how it works, right? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mari Carmen. Yeah, really, uh, really useful um, info. Also, I think what she she mentioned at the, at the last part is that that don't don't hesitate to ask from anyone in the in the community. Should you should you have any problems, we are all open to all open to help uh, with these 
<clears throat> because uh, in the end, uh, just as a reminder, which I think we remind, uh, we, we, we keep on saying is that uh, more often than not, we are teaching each other's clients. So what's what's good for you in the classroom is eventually is good for, good for us who, who own the client. Perhaps I don't like this word, but it's, this this is this is how we this is how we uh, this is how we say it. It took some time. Okay, good, good, very good. Now um, I thought that uh, today um, because uh, last week we fo we focused on on being partners and and uh, and uh, and the opportunities and the possibilities and the advantages and benefits and also uh, and all these things about being a partner of Foxinity and and growing as a as a partner growing your own business uh, practically and today we are going to focus more on the part of providing a quality service which eventually or which which ultimately will lead us or will <coughs> provide us with the with the opportunity to have to have more students because we provide a quality service. Um, so um, we are going to look at um, uh, uh, an activity which I'm curious. Uh, uh, I'm curious uh, about your opinion because uh, because what's what's the, what's the worst activity? Like like teacher teachers who 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 are working with us for a longer time what do you consider the worst activity what is the the worst thing that you can can you can face or you can have besides an empty activity okay because an empty activity is not even an activity it's just that's just nothing uh mark go ahead please yeah the worst activities are those really old activities that are just you know one or one attachment and uh, often a lot of kind of mangled characters that you can't see, a lot of kind of question marks and <laughs> strange things, uh, no pictures or pictures that are really, you know, different sizes, bad quality, uh, old clip art. You know the ones. Old, old, old clip art. The ones yeah, with yeah, references yeah. to people who were famous about sort of eight years ago, and people have forgotten now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. And and the ones talking about uh, Obama becoming a president and these kind of stuff, right? That's so it. it's like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. These these kind of things are, are kind kind of kind of annoying. Mm, okay, good. That's that's that's, that's that's what that's one thing. Yeah, really. Here here, I think what the the. To, to me the, the and no 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 instructions and you know yeah yeah exactly the 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 important part from what you have said uh, mark uh, to me was that that uh, an activity that that uh, that that looks bad so you you yeah. you feel kind of like embarrassed to put it in front of uh, anyone who pays for a class uh, whatever they pay right. for it in 2024 right yeah, OK, yeah, very good point. Josie, please. Um, for me, it's the ones where the content doesn't match the context. So to give an extreme example, maybe the context is past simple and the activity is about the present continuous. So then it's like, how am I going to be able to tell the algorithm and the technology what we've actually taught? Like, yeah. And, you know, what do you do in that kind of situation? Do you go with the context or do you just go with the the content and then mark it as not understood? I think that's quite a tricky one to, to work with. Yeah. You're muted. Muted. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, thanks. Thanks, Josie. So here, the here the important part was actually to me again, and and please anyone, if you have something to say about it, uh, correct me or 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 um, prove me wrong, is that our system of um, uh, assessing and evaluating students and the business proposal of accelerating the learning of the students, it relies uh, on the on the algorithm, which relies on what we say green or red face so if we are not able to we are not able to tell whether it's green or red or should we should we press the wrong one 
then the whole system fails. And that's that's a very, very uh, important thing to understand. Um, yeah, OK, really good, really good. Uh, let's go further. Louis, thanks, Josie. Louis. Yeah, uh, struct, um, yeah stru structure, structure activities that over explain grammar. And I, I, feel, I think they are really bad. You have these like a, these excessively long grammar explanations that are, are like three pages long. And but so I, I have to like I have to like uh, skim and pick up just the essentials because uh, by, by the time by the time we are done uh, explaining all of this, they're, they're going to be comatose. They're going to be like. Uh, so th those are really bad. Uh, yeah. That uh, Louis, in, in the in this case, what do you think? Uh, um... Is it better to to skip that attachment entirely and try I, to explain I, the grammar orally by words and 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 without without actually putting putting them a, a two page two pages long text? For, I often, in front I, of I often, yeah. If I if it's um if I if if I can't just if if I can't just uh pick up the essentials and I. I often just skip it, or I try to single out someone who already knows the grammar, hmm. and I and I I set him up as an example for the others to follow. Right? I hmm. I, I, I find hmm. like a like a my 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 pet, you know my my teacher's pet, and I hmm. I use him as a model for the others to follow. Them, it's a very effective way, right? Super. Yeah, so this is this is a way to go around uh, this uh, or, or solve this issue or, or, or do it, do it, do it differently. I'd rather, you know, I, I'd rather uh, I'd rather have just a few images. You know, it, 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 I think even 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 images with, with no explanation whatsoever, even even if you have to stray off topic, you can work with that, you know, if it's yeah. uh, the, what do, what are you supposed to do with all these? Uh, Super long grammar. I I really agree with you on that part. That I would rather have a, a bunch of at least good quality or medium quality images with no text or whatsoever, and then work with those, than 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 have any lengthy raw grammar explanations and and formulas and so on. Um, Lilita, uh, before before you go. Uh, Thank you, Louis. I would like to I do I would like to to use what uh, Louis have just said to to refer back to one of the questions of Jason uh, at the very beginning. So the students cannot see your cursor. They cannot see the movement of your mouse. So that's 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 not possible. You cannot select the text on the on the screen and tell them that look, this is what I'm talking about. That's not possible. And for this reason, we came up with a with a, mm, uh, with, a with a format with a layout that that uh, that follows a, a clear hierarchy of text on the screen, which drives the attention, which which drives the 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 the, the, the eyes of the students, first, second, third, what to look for, what what is less important, and. Uh, by this uh, and numbering the sentences and numbering the pictures and numbering the examples and so on and so on, uh, we make it uh, we make it more fluent and we make it easier for teachers to to um, to, to to tell what the students or where the students should look or what the teacher is explaining at uh, any given moment. Uh, to achieve this, we also need to keep it brief. And that's why uh, lengthy explanations uh, of grammar do not work. In fact, in fact, uh, in an ideal case, an activity on the student's tab does not contain any grammar rules. Ex um, examples, yes, but no rules. The rules are the rules are or should be added to the teacher's tab. So, so when you as a teacher uh, are preparing for a class or during the class, you, 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 you 
can't seem to improvise or come up with a good definition for a for a verb tense or or a, or a sentence structure, then it's there for you, or should be there for you in the teachers tab. So you can switch between the tabs, read it quickly, and then you just literally tell that to the students. That's also important that in the teachers tab, the explanations are similarly not long short concise explanations just just those things that that the te that the students really need to know to understand uh, the function of the structure uh, the function of the vocabulary and to be able to work with it in the in the practice and the present phase of the of the uh, of the activities uh, okay um I hope it, it it helped you a little bit, Jason, for the for the for the future. What we what we were just uh, uh, talking about, Lilitha, you wanted to add something to the worst activities ever topic. And um, sometimes, uh, similar to what Lewis was saying, the over, I guess, reliance on pictures with grammar over um, explanations. So people sometimes people put. Um, a lot of like three pictures in the students tabs that have gamma explanations. And then um, in the teachers tab, they will, it will be like read the, or explain the grammar. Um, so preparation is always key, but sometimes um, there is then a lot of preparation because you kind of have to sift through everything. And then um, with that, um, just, reliance on the pictures with grammar explanations, the examples um, tend to be wrong. Like for instance, I had um, an example that I had in class was that the example used a double negative to, <laughs> to explain something um, and made the sentence positive or the phrase positive when it was supposed to be negative. Um, so like, saying unless something something and then not so that's a double negative it makes the phrase positive and so stuff like that um get kind of like looked over because of the reliance on pictures with grammar explanations mm. in this in this specific uh case so it was like unless you don't do something or some it was something like that right or unless you can't or unless, so so there was unless and there was also a negative. Uh -huh, OK, OK. Um, <clears throat> which is grammatically not incorrect, right? It's uh, if I understand it well, it's just it means the opposite. Yes, and, uh, um, if, I, if I understand it well, so so actually it changes the meaning of the sentence. Yes. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, so it's not mm -hmm. a. a it just, it's not an overall mistake, but it's a mistake for the specific context. Um, yeah, and yeah, so... yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what I wanted to understand. That what, what, what I, what, what you are, uh, uh, or uh, which, which kind of mistake you are, you are um, uh, talking about that uh, direct, like directly being grammatically wrong or not fitting the context or you are not explaining or you, the explanation or the example is not about what you are uh, what you should be teaching uh, <clears throat> yes to be honest in my consideration these would be the worst activities that contain wrong examples or wrong grammar because because whatever the pictures and the characters and the whatsoever if it's wrong grammar if we are showing students wrong english that's uh, that's that's pretty embarrassing in 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 the classroom, especially when you when you do not notice this prior to the class, and then and then the student tells you that the teacher is that correct? Like what? And then that's not nice. Um, thank you, Lilita. Very important what you what you just mentioned as well. Mark, you want to add something here? Yeah, um, um, following up on that, the things with mistakes, I think uh, time ago there was, you know, some people did put up these worksheets that you can find online, um, you know, wholesale just stuck up from another website. And a lot of these do, you know, have mistakes in them. You know, sometimes they're spelling mistakes, sometimes they're grammar mistakes, but they're mistakes and it just looks really bad. Um, and also uh, occasionally some teachers have kind of put 
have turned things into, you know, things printed on, you know, so instead of putting just inputting the text, they put the text, you know, they turn it into a worksheet and you know, uploaded that. Um, and usually when they do that, there are mistakes, there are, spe there are spelling mistakes in them and it's difficult to correct those. And also they sometimes do it on a big page that doesn't adapt to the size. So, you know, that's uh, that's a no, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. It so might this, look good if it's printed out, if you see the whole page, but I mean, you know, then you can't, it's, it's tricky to correct the spelling mistakes, you know. Yeah. Whereas it's very yeah. easy to correct a spelling mistake, you can do it on the fly sometimes, you know. But, which, I th which I hope many of us do, because when you see some, yeah. please, when you see a spelling mistake before the class, make like, like let, really important. put the effort yeah. into correcting it because it's mm. it's it's really not it's it's bad um, bad business uh, bottom line um what mark said again very important don't use uh, sometimes sometimes the urge is urge is great to 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 get uh, really quickly something from the, from the internet but uh, i mean like uh, uh, um, a, a worksheet or a printable or one of these uh, what do we call them clip arts but uh, what you need you need to be we need to be cautious because of because of these uh, because of these errors and and what mark said uh, is also really important is that the improvement of these is practically uh, impossible you can't you can't modify them so you need to go to the to a, a i don't know a, a jpeg to text editor or whatever and then redo everything so it's better to use our tables so microsoft paint <laughs> saved a lot of time. Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, my my image skills are not the best so uh, uh that's my kind of tool of choice really and try to cut the letters out, you know, if there's some letter missing and like cut the thing out and move it around and, you know, in the same font, it's a bit complex sometimes. And and you know what you are what you are talking about, Mark, is actually leads us to the point that that in the end, in the end, it would be much quicker to actually just build a, a simple table and then put everything into that table because because uh, because all these modifications, adjustments, download, uh, uh, um, uh, modify, uh, turn it to a JPEG from a PDF and vice versa, it takes a lot of time. So it's it does not worth the effort in the end. Yeah, yeah, Mark, thanks, thanks. Raquel, please go ahead. Nice that you were. Uh, it's. Uh, I. I. Th I hope you also feel as happy as I am that so many of you have things to say about this topic because this is. Uh, we are talking about the quality of our products, which is, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, Raka, please. We have activities with pictures, uh, with links to other language schools. <laughs> okay. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think nothing nothing more needs needs to be said about this. Thanks, Raquel, because the, it also it also often comes with those with those worksheets and with those printables and with those clip arts that at, we are not. Uh, yeah, we have our own business and we would like to we would like to promote promote our own business. So so it would be nice if we if we didn't have. Uh, these these uh, these external <clears throat> external links. Um, obviously, we used we use them to prepare. We can also offer our students uh, in 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 the in in the email what we send after the class, which uh, we are going to talk about as well a little bit uh, later. Uh, it, that's 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 kind of okay. On the other hand, uh, please remember that uh, look look on the on the Oxinity blog first because there is a growing number of of really well written blogs with exam with examples that are grammar related. So many grammar many grammar points and 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 <clears throat> verb tenses structures from uh, lower to higher levels can be already found on Oxinity. And in these cases, it would be nice if you included those instead of sending them to perfect English grammar or whatever, which are really good 
really well written blogs and nothing to say about that. Uh, thanks, Raquel. Uh, Mikhail, go ahead. Hi again, everybody. Um, so on the same um, note that Lewis as well as Mark have been talking about with issues regarding either punctuation issues or missing text, things of, the, of that sort. I've had five classes booked for this week. Um, I was only able to do two as the students dropped out for three. They dropped out for one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I did yes then today's. But for each class that I try to just do some revisions on, just make sure that I know what's going to be in the uh, class, I've noticed many punctuation mistakes. I have activities missing as people have noted it. No instructions for the activity. For the one that I did today for a class of two, only two were able to attend, the instructions were to uh, for the student to fill in blanks with the words uh, given. But the on the student's staff, the sentences were already with the answers included. So <laughs> they weren't even able to actually fill in the uh, fill in the missing word as the the solution was there already and the activities I shall every chance I get that was the activity so they weren't able to do that so all I had them do was just do the pronunciation practice of the words instead of attempting to do a job that's already been done but yeah so just the same issues everybody's running into I guess no 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 good good thanks thanks Mikhail this is this is this also raises the question that do you know what can you do if you if you if you if you see or if you encounter such things before the class starts when you are preparing yeah you can edit it the only issue is last night um so i get home at 11 right 11 p.m so 11 p.m i got home i went through all my sources i wasn't going to do that activity i was going to do another one but i woke up this morning and i found that my activity was swapped out with another one so then i switched to this one and noticed, oh, it's missing. So I just decided to leave it out at the moment because the class is about to start. So it was a last minute thing which I had to switch to. Okay. Um, yeah. So editing, that's that's one option. And in in your case, perhaps it's 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 uh, non applicable because you didn't yeah. you didn't go through all the all of the activities, so you didn't know that there, it's a faulty activity. But exactly. remember that you can recycle. Yeah. Do you know that there is a button that that changes the the faulty activity? I mean, do you do you know about this? Yeah, I do know about that, it, but I didn't want to take a chance and then I get something I have to take more time to prepare for within the last few minutes before the class starts. So I'll just took the activity as is and rather for the practice activity, I rather just took my chance that I didn't go through everything. And I just uh -huh. went through just more pronunciation, make sure that I have everything sorted out before going to the obviously they produce parts of the activity phrase yeah, yeah yeah okay okay that so um, i'm happy that eventually you solved uh, i mean like you you, you really uh, came up with a with a with a solution on the fly but uh, but uh, rem remember that that um, in this case for for example it's uh, it it also tells that it it worth to look into these like look just briefly look into the attachments of each activities because because for for example uh, in the open web class system it might happen that some of the students because we have three students right and it is possible that one of the students did an activity which which the other two didn't mm. so in such a it's a, in such a scenario you might want to use another activity in the classroom so for this reason, it it it's perhaps not imperative, but it's really uh, it's really useful to to know all the material that you have yeah. that you that you can use in the class. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you need to use everything, but but it's like you know your options. Yeah, no, definitely. And yeah. and this this and for the for this reason, it, it's it's really worth it worth to go uh, into even if you don't want to focus on that part of grammar or vocabulary or you know that you are going to talk about something different because you have a different strategy you know what's there and if you see that oof, i can't use this in class then you click the yeah. recycle button <clears throat> which yeah. which which might and i have to say which might bring another 
similarly bad activity, but yeah. then you now you need to recycle it again. So this is yeah. it's 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 in the system. It's it's still not it's far away from being Ergo. perfect. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I've got a screenshot yeah. of it because I've been sending it. Do you want me to send it to you to put in the chat? Because I can't post anything in this chat, but only moderators. But you can, can... But you can put it on the screen. So if you could share oh, your screen and and, and yeah, show us. Yeah, I can us. just do that actually. One minute. Yeah, so, so let's let's up, let's yeah. let's look at yeah. that. So I just because, because... sent it to Charlene. Hang on a minute. Thank there. you, Jay Z. Appreciate it. That's yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. Okay. Tamar, do you have something <coughs> something related to this, what we are talking about? I came across another activity which I would like to share. It was a maze activity. It was a what kind of maze? Activity? Maze, a maze. maze. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. So the student uh, had to reach the ambulance from the starting point to the hospital. And it was really difficult for him or he to describe the way. Like on seeing it on a maze, it's really difficult. And the way that uh, student was describing it was difficult to understand where he has reached till now. So maze activities okay. are really difficult too. I was so surprised to hear that first. I didn't want to believe that you are saying maze because because yes. this is this is some something that I, I have never seen that activity. I work here mm -hmm. for six years and I have never seen a, a maze activity in in mm -hmm. uh, in the in the system. But okay, uh, Josie, are you are you are you there? Can you can you show it? Thanks, Tamma. Yep. After that, yep. we are going to look look at, look mm -hmm. at your screenshot as well. Okay. Yeah. Here's. Um... Let's go. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see okay. my screen? Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see my cursor? Yep. It's hard. Yeah, that's why I was going to send a screenshot because I could put an arrow on it. But yeah, where the stars are here, the recycling button is just here. So click on OK and then you can choose whatever reason. I'm not going to do it because this activity is fine. But yeah. Or um, yeah, actually. I could do it with this one because, um, no, not that one. Hang on a minute. I know that this one actually, I think, does need to be changed. So I'll change this one. That one, um, that's for sure. And I'll put missing and wrong instructions. So, yeah, if you do that. And then and I mean, it'll probably take a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, appear. Yeah. 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 So this is this. Thanks, Josie, because this is a this is really uh, 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 important to to remember, especially for new teachers, that there isn't there isn't there is an opportunity to 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 get something. It's given, oh, it's given me an extra topic as well. <laughs> bonus, oh, oh. bonus prize. <laughs> yeah, I I found that Josie because I had to. I've had a couple of French lessons in the middle of the Spanish, so okay. I just refresh. And then yeah, it yeah, comes up. Exactly. Yeah, so it'll yeah. come up and it's yeah. got like a French lesson if, in the middle of it. If, it, if it, you're struggling so though, happens. I'd say mm. to everyone though, if you are struggling and you've tried it a couple of times, just message the assistants because they can also assign activities if you're really struggling. But do try it yourself first because they're really busy. So anything we can do for ourselves first is good, but then they can help you if you're really, really stuck. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both, both, super true. Try to solve it if you can. If you're really struggling, especially new, new, new teachers, don't, don't, don't hesitate to ask for for assistance from the from the Zen desk. Mm, okay, Tema, you wanted to you, you you wanted to show us. Could you please show us if you have a screenshot or if if you can put it on the screen to so we see this this maze because it uh, uh, it, it really surprised me that that there is no, something. No, like I, I don't have it. I don't have it. Don't I didn't take a anymore. screenshot. But yesterday I had that in my class. Finding way mm -hmm. to the ambulance. The ambulance okay. had to reach the hospital. It was really difficult for them to explain and for me to understand where have they reached in the middle of the road. So uh, uh -huh. oh, and, and what was the level of this class and or the students, if I'm I ask. think it was P3 or P2. I don't remember, but either it uh -huh. was P2 or P3. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Um, well, thanks. Um, I, oh, my apologies. Could I share my screen for the activity that I encountered today as it was today? So I do slide it up on go ahead. my classes. Sure. Yeah, Thank go you. ahead. Let me just share. Class, share. 
Okay. Are you guys able to see it? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so this, this is what the students are able to see. As you can see, he's taking a shower. I love chocolate. I am shy. These are the last words are supposed to be all in brackets, but empty. And then they are supposed to fill them in using these words. So they're supposed to use these words on top to fill in what's supposed to be blank over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think to be honest, someone, someone, someone uh, worked on the students, students uh, attachment, but not on the teacher or the students tab, but yeah. not on the teacher's tab. So this, mm, the, like oh, how it, how it says, looks. Gago, look at it. It also <coughs> says French words are pronounced like that. Why would that be on there? Oh no, it's um, just for pronunciation mm -hmm. purposes. So French this is a pronunciation. Really this is a pronunciation yes. activity. Because um, chef is a it is a word that people do use in English, but it's originated in French, so it's mm -hmm. not pronounced as a ch as ch. That's ch, chef instead of chef. Yeah, yeah. and this this is especially uh, important with 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 Spanish learners who who often 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 uh, mistakenly say chef instead of chef because in Spanish yeah. they say they say chef. Germans do as yeah. well actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I threw, I threw yeah. my students through a loop today when they got to the last word. Actually I was waiting to get to that word and it messed both of them up at first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is uh, the, I, I think here here what happened is that is that someone worked on the students uh, attachment or the students instead tab but not teachers. on the teachers yeah. so perhaps it looked some it looked very different and then the 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 person who did the complementary works uh, or the modification or the edit uh, forgot to forgot to leave mm, mm. Uh, or forgot to forgot mm. to give instructions what what yeah. to uh, what to do actually Actually, uh, by the is, way, is this a screenshot? Can I go? Is no, this a screenshot? Or no, can no, no, we no, add no, it? no, no, no. Can no. can we add it this? So it's it's only about like putting the brackets in its place. Yeah, like he's taking uh, and words. then go for yeah, a but, bracket and we can do it online now. Yes, it would take a lot of time, and we have 13 minutes left from from the from the from the from the, from the meeting. So, um, I mean, I mean. Um, there's there's another question which 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 just crossed my mind that here we are practicing pronunciation, so do we do we want them to, I mean like, and it's a question to all teacher all teachers here and then we are still going to 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 listen to Lilita and Viva, so so um, is it a good pronunciation practice the fill in the gaps exercise, what do you think as teachers? It can be. I don't. It's it's really a, an honest question to to. So, Mikael, like go ahead. Details. Yeah. Okay. It, it could be, but I don't think it works. It it can be because you are both teaching them how to use it in context, as mm -hmm. well as mixing okay. the sound in with just other sounds in a sentence that's being formed. So mm -hmm. it can work, but I feel as though focusing more on the words as singulars are more important and should be prioritized over. The just filling in blanks. We're filling in blanks mm -hmm. is more important in other activities such as um, with a more Matisse. context. Yeah, with the context is more important, such as maybe using tenses. Those would be more important when filling in blanks over just pronunciation activities. Yeah, it's something. Something. It's that's that's why I had. That's why I. That's why this question crossed my mind as well. Ergo, I just want to jump in. There's been a couple of hands up for a bit. Yeah, and this is where anyway. we are going to. Okay, yeah, this is where we are going sorry. to go now. That's why uh, it would be nice if we could uh, uh, if we could correct these things, but it would be also nice to hear the, the words of other teachers. So let's go for those. Lilita, you were the first to raise your hand. So if you would like to add something. Yes. Um, another thing that is, I think, more that tends to be more confusing for students is when the word is like the word that is provided for to to fill in a gap is in the wrong form. 
So it's the correct word, but the form that it's written in, in the students, what they see is incorrect. So instead of provided, the um, exercise is written providing. So the word is correct, but then the form is incorrect. So if you are, it's a struggle to correct something that looks correct if that makes sense, because it's more confusing for the students. And then it brings up a question as, of course, like why not that one? And you can explain it quickly, but if you aren't prepared for that, um, it's, yeah, it confuses the whole lesson. But of course, that is also another thing of preparation. But if you don't have time, it can kind of um, derail the lesson. Okay, uh, yes, although we do have exercises where, where we actually ask the students to, to, to find the incorrect, uh, of course, this is not, this is not the case what you mentioned, but, but uh, like uh, if you want to improvise and if you see something that it's incorrect on the screen, you can always ask the students, especially if they are higher levels, that there is a mistake in that sentence, can you find it? And then you actually you are actually making an exercise out of something that is that is that is that is a spelling mistake or that is uh, grammatically wrong or 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 what or or in any other in other way in other in any other way uh, incorrect or inadequate. Um, yes, that's what I was able to do. In, that's what I was able to do in the exercise, but um, in a lower um, level class, it takes like all of the time of or most of the time to have to explain this new grammar um, situation, if that makes sense. But otherwise, um, I was able to do that, thankfully. Um, but yeah, that's just something that I saw in the, it was in the teacher's tab and the student's tab. Yeah, and just as you, just as you mentioned, like with lower levels, it's hard to do because lower levels do not do not have the they, they 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 are not they are not confident but perhaps they don't have enough uh, knowledge to to actually follow your instructions or to find the actual error so so yeah it's um, it's um, with with them it's even more important that everything is spotless what we put in front of them because they are still in the in the phase of 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 of, of building the basics and to have the the strong basics they need to they need to have everything everything simple clear and correct so what they so what they learn what they what they practice with is always um, is always um, spotless good correct okay Lilita thanks Viva you had to you sorry for letting you wait for so long <laughs> hello no worries just in addition to some of my worst activity experiences I agree with everyone that everyone is sharing. I have that too. But I don't know if it happened only to me. A few times I had classes where one activity had, believe it or not, I counted like between 20 to 30 attachments. Yeah, it was low level class, but I was yeah. just drowning in, in, in those attachments on my class window. <laughs> really a bad experience, yeah. Yeah, thanks. This is this is and now this relates to thanks, Viva. This also relates to something that that uh, um, that that uh, these kind of errors and the most errors what we have are are uh, are with the or the majority of the errors what we have are with low level activities and that 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 makes it really difficult to conduct uh, low level classes S ones and P twos. So. So uh, I'm really sorry to hear that, but this is a fact. And just because we are coming up with numbers, if believe it or not, once I have a screenshot, I'm not going to search for it. I had a, a, a class with 43 activities added. <laughs> So it's really if you uh, and it's like you if you if you counted if you saw those little faces you know like it was it was literally unbelievable to to to, to the, see them on the attendance sheet on the yeah attendance. yeah 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 but there was it was a uh, it was because there was there was double or triple adding to the so it's it's not it's this this not the the system didn't generate it it was manually done this way it was just not recognized it looked really funny um yeah i had what, one of those today 
on a P4. It's in, in my thing. There were about 12 activities for an hour long lesson. Oh, OK, but that's an hour long lesson. This was a half yeah, an hour Yeah, but I class. mean, there's not a hope I would have got through. There were like but four you don't, topics. But you don't need yeah, to, Yeah, but it Catherine. was very, very long. Like you said, faces like this. But yeah, but so remember that that the amount of activity, I mean, like you don't need to cover everything. So that you you have to you have twelve activities for a for a for a for a one hour class, then depending on it's a P four or P five, and I don't know how how good the students are, but uh, so, sometimes you can really go quick, right? Because because sometimes they just need a little bit of a little bit of 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 um, uh, repetition of of some structures, and when you see that okay, they know it, you can go to the next to the next one. On the other hand. 12 activities i agree with you it's perhaps a little it, 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 it's 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 too it's too much uh i think what I, how i feel secure within one with an hour class is to have like seven or eight activities uh for a one hour class and then i know that whatever happens i will have a i will have a choice and i can i can uh, i can go to go to do something else should they be yeah, and um, ask more ask more questions generate more speaking yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. This is this is what you this is what you can do. Back to back to uh, the the activity what uh, Viva mentioned. That's a really typical example of those activities that were designed to to be done uh, with with uh, with in person in 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 person classes. So those 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 attachments. I don't know what it was what it exactly was why uh, Viva with yours, but those attachments normally contain only one picture and and a, a tick or yes or no. So they they, they need yeah, to make an affirmative yeah. a negative sentence. Yeah, that kind of that kind the, of the stuff worst, is. The worst part was that each attachment was with the title attachment. You know, you couldn't even <laughs> choose uh, like to know yeah, yeah. which to pick. It was oh, really yeah. a big so, mess. It felt awkward, yeah. Yeah, so you have 20 attachments named attachments or titles. And, yeah, and, 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 on, yeah, the, yeah, and you, yeah. on the class list, they are also very mixed. Of course, I could choose not to do this activity, choose what I want, something else, but still it was a big mess, you know? And I was just telling the student, hold on, <laughs> trying to find I'm what searching. they needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. On the other end, I'm happy that it 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 seems like you found your way around it. And this is, uh, yeah, um, this perhaps is for for which reason it's very important that the complementary works when you when you do a complementary work. You do you do you do it well. For example, the case of Mikhail, that the the student's attachment looked. Quite okay. Perhaps some things could have been done better, but but it was it was something that you that you that you can use. <clears throat> but then, sorry. Indeed. Why why such instructions, right? So your 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 work is complete when you when you when you make sure that what what the students see is 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 uh, is correct. Uh, representative uh, looks well, uh, adequate, uh, follows the follows the, the 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 context of the activity, right? Especially with structures and vocabulary activities, it's very important because that's what allows the system to follow the green and the red faces. Um, but your your work your work is not done there. The work is done when you when you helped your fellow teachers to understand what should they do with that attachment even even if it's even if the even if the student's attachment uh, is is uh, i mean like it's it's obvious right that if 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 even if you are, you can understand everything there should be instructions and and i don't i mean like mm, it's i i how to say it, we need we need to we need to create a system where we have standards and this is one of the standards that we give instructions even in those cases when the instructions are obvious it's just to have it's just to have a solid solid uh, 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 solid um, system of of working because if if 
someone forgets it here or does not do it here, there will be a next one and there will be a next one and there will be a next one. And it's it's just like that. It's that, that's that's how that's how life works. And this is why it's very important that that ev every teacher's work is done within the same within the same framework. And then because then then we can look if we if we have these things, if we have these things uh, settled and and solid, then we can focus on other things because there are always things to improve and and to be done and to get better here or to get better there. But but first we need to have a stable, solid foundation of how we do the things. And this is what we are aiming for with all the complementary works, workshops with the checklists. And that's what we are talking about for nearly 50 minutes. It's um, this is this is this is what will what will lead us to have a, 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 a high quality products that each and every teacher will feel confident and 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 happy to promote. And once you have that, then 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 you be, then you actually start to become a partner, which 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 will lead you to the to the. Uh, uh, how to say to to the to the to the cause for which we are here, earn more money. Good product, good service, happy teachers, happy clients equals to more money. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is this is this is this is like a. This is this is the 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 core of the of the business and 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 like the 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 materials and the activities what we show and what we use this is a part of the product the other part of the product and please don't mind me saying it's us teachers we are the products because we are we are we provide the service and and to to help each other become better and better and better uh, become become more uh, more fluent as in working in the classroom not not using the language um it's it, all these little things the the instructions and so on and so on they they all add up to this this uh, this uh, this result that we become better teachers and students want to learn from good teachers better teachers with a system that that looks well works well easy to understand and they can re they can rely on and also with the activities we okay we we are going to keep that for the next week because it's two past 12 and i think many of you want to have a lunch coffee or whatever um so really good one i think thanks for being here thanks for all the good comments and uh, and uh, and the meaningful um uh yeah anything well everything what you said was was on the point was relevant and 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 it made other teachers talk as well which is the, which is as i said at the very beginning this is this is the friday talks about we partners teachers discussing these things and coming up with solutions and having a good laugh sometimes and and so on and so on so this is this is really important what's happening lately at friday on fridays at, uh, in the friday talks so so it's it's cool thanks for being here thanks for joining in and uh, we'll see each other next week friday at the same time um one last thing is that um on for the future, if you do not have time to join us at 11 o'clock, then there is a second Friday talk uh, at half past three Central European time, which is with uh, Oxinity, Mexico. But it's the same kind of uh, same kind of setting, perhaps a little less people for 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 now. But should you not be able to join, then then please uh, approach Maria about it, and she's going to help you uh, receiving the link, and then you can uh, you can join those talks. So, thanks once again. I wish you a pleasant weekend, and see you next time. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.
Thank you. Bye.